What's up guys, we're going to be solving this lab, reflected cross-site scripting into a template literal with angle brackets, single, double quotes, backslash, and backticks, Unicode escaped. So the key part of this lab is that term template literal. We'll see why, let's fire up the lab. So as usual with these possible cross-site scripting attack vectors, it makes sense to use an arbitrary search string just to see where that search string is reflected back to us in the DOM. So we can see we get our search string reflected on the page. Let's inspect that. In fact, let's also search for our search term. We get two matches. So the first reflection is inside these H1 tags. We can see it reflected as plain text, but our second result is inside script tags. So we can see there's some JavaScript here. It's assigning the contents of the variable message to a string. And notice that this string is designated by backticks. Backticks denote a string in JavaScript, but it's a very particular type of string. It has a couple of features that regular strings don't have access to. Just so we're very clear, there is a difference between a single quote, which you could wrap either side of a string, a double quote, which can also be used for a string, and a backtick. A backtick is completely separate from the single quote character. As you can see, it has a little bit of a slant. So this designates a template string or a string literal in JavaScript that's slightly different from regular strings. The two main differences that are covered in the MDN docs, firstly, you can have a multi-line string in JavaScript. So you could have whichever text you want here, and they could all be on separate lines, but it's still treated as a string because they are wrapped inside backticks. If you try to do this with a regular string in JavaScript, it simply wouldn't work. In fact, what you have to do in JavaScript is end the previous string and then use concatenate operator or a plus and start a new string on the next line down. Also, if we wanted to include a variable in a JavaScript string using a regular string, we would have to come out of the string, use the concatenate, input our variable, then concatenate again, and then continue the string. So you can see it's a lot of work. Template literals help to solve that because the other feature is referred to as string interpolation. Basically, it's a fancy term for saying that if we include a variable and there's a specific syntax for it, it's a dollar sign, curly bracket, and the variable name inside the curly brackets. If we include this inside a template string, then it will be replaced by the relevant JavaScript variable. That means we don't have to break out of our string every single time we want to make use of a variable. So returning now to our DOM browser, why is all of that relevant? Well, think about our injection context here. We are inside a template literal or a string literal or a template string, whatever terminology you want to use. We are in a string inside backticks. And that means there is an additional potential attack vector, which wouldn't be the case if we were inside single quotes or double quotes. And that's to do with this string interpolation. If we were to include a variable inside curly brackets prefixed with the dollar sign, it may be that this gets passed because it's inside this string literal. Of course, there's no variable assigned to my var, but we may find that certain JavaScript expressions get evaluated as well. What happens if we pass an alert inside curly brackets inside this backticked string? Let's search for this we get alert popped up to the page. So we can see we have a successful cross-site scripting attack vector here. Let's take a quick look for a bit of post analysis. Let's have a look at that script. So we can see our backtick string, zero search results four, and then we can see our injected variable or JavaScript expression inside curly brackets prefixed with the dollar sign. So because this is part of a string literal, JavaScript is passing it. Whereas if it had instead been inside single quotes or double quotes, then this wouldn't have done anything. So as we can see, there's potentially security implications with making use of these backtick strings as opposed to a single quote or double quoted string. I would say overall, this was fairly straightforward lab. We just need to understand some basic features of JavaScript. In this case, we needed to know about template literals in JavaScript, AKA backticked string and also string interpolation, AKA using variables inside a backticked string. All right, hope it was helpful. Thanks very much for watching.